we understood about what is the force that exists between any two current carrying conductors. Now, let's try to understand, supposing you have a dipole that is aligned in a direction not exactly along the direction of the magnetic field. Then, what is going to happen? The dipole will tend to align itself along the direction of the magnetic field or perpendicular to it, right? As a result, there is going to be a torque that is going to be acting. In a similar way, there is also going to be a torque that is going to be acting in a current carrying loop. Let's try to understand about these definitions and these examples of torque in this particular topic. We have understood as to when exactly is the force that acts on two parallel current carrying wires. Now, supposing we have a current carrying wire and we want to rotate it. So, if you want to rotate it, what exactly is the amount of force that is going to be exerted on it? As a result, that is what we are trying to find out here in the torque on a current carrying loop. So, if you want to understand what exactly is the torque that is acting in a current carrying loop. So, here if you see there is a magnetic field and in this magnetic field that makes this particular current carrying loop move. So, you have a force that is acting here that will tend to move along this direction and similarly you have an oppositely directed force. So, at every instant of time, this loop will tend to move. This will tend to move such that it is making a direction parallel or anti-parallel or perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field. So, how do we find that? Let's try to understand it here. If I say dF, so due to a particular current carrying element, so IDL cross B, this is going to be the net value of the field force that we have. Here ideal and B are perpendicular to each other and therefore the force is mutually perpendicular to both the current element as well as the magnetic field. So here if you if at any instant of length like we saw it here if at any instant of time let's say the current is making an angle theta if the current is making an angle theta with the horizontal let's say so if this is this and I is the current element that we have therefore at this point like we saw it here there is going to be a force ILB and similarly same amount of force is going to be exerted towards the left hand side. As a result what will we get? The net force is going to be given by FILB towards right and FILB towards left. So the torque that is a perpendicular to it depending upon how much is the length perpendicular to the force. So we'll take the sine theta component so L sine theta into F gives us I L square B to sine theta where L is the length between the two sides. If I have to write it, so I can also mention it something like mu cross b, where mu is nothing but i into a. So this is what is dependent upon, so this is what is known as a dipole moment for the case of a magnetic dipole. And a is nothing but the area, so L square is the length, I am taking a square loop, L square is the area into the area vector, that is the normal to area, we will put the area vector, unit vector in. So this is the area vector, so I times A, I is the current, so current is a pseudo vector, it's not a vector actually, that results into mu being a vector which depends on the area of the loop. So this is what tells us about the torque that is acting on a current carrying tube.